Finally, I got it right. Okay, uh, I'm back again. I'm back here with the detector and uh, see what uh, target is in the area. I'm trying to set this up on a tree here so you can see what I'm doing. It's not very far, it's right here, right in front. And uh, so you'll be able to see what's going on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it is a bit of a fun. You remember the small the while back I was doing with the radar. Now I come here with the detector to see how this thing will pick up this. Uh, is there anything here or not? Okay, we'll try this. Uh, Sounds funny. I'll knock this bit of a grass around the way. Doesn't look like there's anything here, but anyway, I'm uh, recording with the other camera up there as well. Just to find there. Okay, well, I got this in the double D and. Uh, Okay, I think it should be okay now. We'll try this in more. Ah, branches sticking. Sounds like ground noise. Any target I find that with a radar, I have to dig it a certain amount of soil just to see is there anything there. It doesn't, doesn't look like there's anything here. But I'll remove some soil just in case that there might be, might be something, might be nothing. <laughs> Trouble is with these big coils, you need I dig up there bit of a blimey ground which makes a problem in one way but um, anyway there's a little bit of a signal coming through I don't, don't know still you know, all, all the detectors pick up a hot rock, and you know that up there too. Okay, I'm talking to two sides now. So it could be a hot rock here. Nice sandy soil, beautiful sandy soil. Um, that's because they cut off the trees there, there on the, just up here, and the, where the five ounces was being found a number of years ago. And then after that we found a lot of small gold there. Um, which was quite good there at the time. This is a fairly large hole I'm digging. I don't, I don't like these big coils. I have to get rid of it. It, it just makes me, makes me dig up with two big holes. You notice on top of it, there was no signal at all. You see, once I removed a little bit of dirt, the signal sort of picks it up. And the sort of, it, but it looks like there's some noise coming from there. But goodness knows how bloody deep is this thing. That's not a problem. <laughs> Anybody there come willing to come and dig up this for me here? I feel a bit old, too old for this kind of a thing. Oh, beautiful sandy soil, I love it. Oh, beautiful. This is where the normally good gold is being found, in this kind of a soil. 
but uh, you don't know still say hot rock I don't know why rider pick it up because that rider is set up only for gold you notice up here wouldn't pick up nothing This is what I say, when you're using a radar, radar doesn't tell you how deep is it. <laughs> and that's one thing that you don't know. And uh, being a... Oh, I'm, I'm, I've only done a little bit of work and I'm popping out already. It'd be terrible if it's uh, some kind of a bullet or piece of metal because a lot of mining been done on this hill at the old times in the 18th century. Okay, let's see if I can dig it up a little bit more. <laughs> oh, I must remind you, this detector is not modified detector. Thanks goodness. Yeah, you start flying up. Okay, you settle. Oh, look at this lovely soil. Beautiful looking soil. A lot of soil. Okay. Something must be passing or something, some aeroplane or whatever. some kind of a signal, I don't know what it is. Just I can't move a call too far down. Oh, something, there's even tree roots here. I don't want to get to the tree roots. <laughs> I haven't been prospecting for about two years, correctly. Getting very close to it. Testing at somebody else's coils, this radar, all these sort of things. And now I was very busy at the time. When you put a coil up and down, there's nothing. But when you move it, oh well, well, well. Look at here I come. I'm going to China now, digging up. <laughs> See if I can put some dirt up here. Lovely gravelly soil, beautiful. Oh. And a clay, now a clay coming. Well, the looks of it, I'm about. 80 inches down. I hope so I don't have to get smaller coil. All these. You look nothing.
That don't work because the other coils do. I don't even know where it is. Okay, I hope you don't mind white him bay. Oh, they are coming to some hard climb. the gravel down here. Screaming like that too. I'll pull this a bit away from here. Oh, going a bit deeper now. Coming into a clay. of trees, oh come on. Stop being ridiculous. Okay. Oh. My back is killing me. I had a rubber bone broken when, before I went to Scotland to World Championships. So. Okay. I need excavator. Someone bring the excavator, please. Come on, go and get it. Stop. Stop making a fun of me here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> okay. Some sort of a clay coming up now. That's why I don't like radar, only for that reason. You don't know how deep is the thing. I think it's on this side out uh, here. Here's the gravel. I 
Okay, let's try once more. I think it's out, whatever it is. Where in the heck is it? I'm seeing it there. I'll switch a noisy off. Are you there? Hello there. Hello Jean Luck. Hello Mark Ord. How are you? Ah. Anyway, it's a rusty piece of metal. You look like a shining like a gold. I'll give him a little clean up. Oh look at the look at my hand, the blood on it and a whole lot of that. Bugger this hard work. Now it looks shiny. I think it is looks like a beautiful uh, little nugget. Could be uh what? Probably five, maybe six grams, could be more, don't know, could be less. I don't have famous idea. Anyway, that's what it is. Hello, Mark B Burma. How are you, Mark Burma? Hey, anyway, they are, this is what was in this hole. You see how deep the detector did not find it. My radar found the target here. And that's what found it. And that, that's what it is. It's right, beautiful little bulks, a little piece of gold. It will become beautiful when I clean him up. I got him a bit too close, have I? How's that? Is that a bit better? I don't know. Yeah, not too close, that. That's better. It is very, look very, very solid. You see, Coil wouldn't pick it up on the top, but when I take a surface, that's always I do that. I take up to, uh, six to eight, maybe foot deep ground to find a, uh, really is a target there or not. But if a target is a meter deep, you have no chance detecting this with a detector. The only thing pick it up is uh, that, uh, what do you call it, uh, right, I think, okay. Uh, but two years of study on that radar. I reckon it's going to pay off. Yeah. You see, all this ground has been detected heavily. I use very, very strong coil here. Very powerful coil. And uh, just this, I have to dig it up two big hole, and that, that's what I hate to do. But my, my hand is in blood anyway. Well, okay. Before I say, I'm going to leave it here in front of you. Just look after that for me. Uh, don't you put it in your pocket. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to cover this hole first. You look how deep was down. Look here. That was way, way down. That looked like about 15 inches down. That's what it looks like.
how much soil I think it had. This is unbelievable. Put a pick away. Now, one thing I like advise you don't run and buy these radars. It takes a lot of understanding, a lot of study to understand it. It's not a simple device, but you know what? They bloody work. They do work, and not they work, that's why I'm using it, that's why I'm not detecting any other way. There is a price for a day. 19th of December, uh, <laughs> October. Uh, Corpil Cup Day, is it? Somebody said it's Corpil Cup Day today. Okay, you have a nice day out there, guys. And uh, thank you for watching my video. I'm going to talk to the other camera now up there a little bit and I show the piece of gold on my camera. You take care there on this on this live broadcast. <laughs> okay, take care. Bye.